Um, my name is Paul Graham. I'm a second year dermatology resident at St. Joseph Mercy Hospital in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And today I'm going to be talking to you about treatment of sebaceous hyperplasia and post procedural purpura with the pulse dye laser. I have no financial interest to disclose. So sebaceous hyperplasia is a benign proliferation of sebaceous glands located predominantly on the face. Um, these lesions can be a significant cosmetic concern in both men and women, and treatments have typically been aimed at destroying these lesions but have significant side effects, including pain, scarring, and prolonged purpura. So in 2000, Agassi et al. first used the pulse dye laser to treat the sebaceous hyperplasia successfully. So um, the high fluence requirement with the pulse dye laser typically induces the prolonged purpura, and this actually limits the treatment in uh, our cosmetically minded patients. Patients don't want to walk around with this after they have pulse dye. So the uh, treatment of purpura with the pulse dye laser has actually demonstrated excellent results. Um, typically, we can eliminate this purpura within 48 hours with treatment of the pulse dye laser as compared to no treatment at all after using the pulse dye laser. Um, this usually takes about 7 to 14 days if they're left untreated. So this uh, picture is a uh, patient that actually underwent a radiofrequency treatment. 24 hours later, we brought this patient back and treated her with low fluence pulse dye laser and uh, completely eliminated this picture was taken 48 hours after the pulse dye laser was done. So low fluence pulse dye laser works on the purpura by targeting the hemoglobin rich red blood cells. Uh, this induces rapid clearing from the skin and uh, there's no evidence of any long-term um, sequelae associated. So our study describes an easy to use pulse dye laser protocol for the treatment of sebaceous hyperplasia and post procedural purpura. This is accomplished through a combination of both high and low fluence pulse dye laser treatments over a 48 hour time period. So the treatment protocol for the sebaceous hyperplasia, um, we use the V-beam at 20 joules, three millisecond uh, pulse width, and a spot size of five millimeters. Um, our uh, treatment protocol for post-procedural purpura is as followed. We brought the patient back 24 hours later, treated the patient with V-beam at nine joules, six milliseconds, and a seven millimeter uh, pulse width. And then uh, photographs were taken at baseline after the first and second PDL treatment and that final follow-up. So here's a picture of the pretreatment sebaceous hyperplasia. The photo on the left uh, is 24 hours after the first, first pulse dye laser treatment, and this demonstrates significant um, PDL induced purpura. Um, the photo on the right is, was taken after the second PDL treatment, and this actually demonstrates a significant reduction in the purpura induced by the PDL. And this picture was taken two weeks after a single combination treatment with the pulse dye laser. So our results demonstrate complete resolution of both sebaceous hyperplasia and the resulting post-procedural purpura after a single combination treatment session. We conclude that the treatment of sebaceous hyperplasia and post-procedural purpura with the PDL is a quick, safe, and effective treatment modality that can be used in any outpatient setting. Sebaceous hyperplasia requires a high fluence and short pulse duration, thus inducing purpura. Um, this purpura is actually subsequently treated with low fluence pulse dye laser, and this induces complete resolution of both the sebaceous hyperplasia and the purpura associated. So with these results, many other conditions could potentially be treated with the pulse dye laser to eliminate laser-induced purpura. This is a quick and effective way to minimize downtime in our cosmetically minded patients that don't want to walk around with bruising on their face after a sebaceous hyperplasia tre treatment with PDL. And I would like to thank Dr. Stephen Eubanks for his continued support and commitment with this project. Thank you.